Hey, what's going on, TikTok? I want to reply to Brother Reginald again. He says, read the part how the masters are supposed to treat their slave or employers. Read it now. So I don't know if you're saying how they're supposed to treat their slaves or their employees. But my question, my brother, is this. What was the wage? What was the wage? If, if we want to go from the model of employer employee, what was the wage? What was the wage to the black man on American soil? Did he receive a wage? How was his master treating him? So the crazy thing that I want you to see is this, my brother. Go to the book of Philemon, and I said it in another video. But my question, if the conditions were so good, why did that slave run? Was he getting a fair wage? Was his master giving him good food? Did he have shelter? Because the crazy thing about it is that a lot of Christians that hold to the writings of Paul, when you come to areas like this, oh yeah, they were supposed to treat him good. My question is, why did the one guy run? And why is it that Philemon and Titus and Ephesians and 1 Peter all talking about servants obeying your masters? There is a problem with bondage, and that is what I'm trying to get you to see. There's a problem with bondage. But at the end of the day, we want to sit up here as black people and defend a weapon that has been used against us. So, brother, you might be in ministry. I don't know. Maybe you hold true to the writings of Paul. But Paul was a detriment to black people because, number one, that was used by the slave master. And we can't sit up here and, and say that the slave master treated our people good. Because if that was the case, then why do we have a Negro spiritual talking about Jesus going to take us away from all the suffering? The white man that looks like the master, the white man that looks like the angels, the white man who we believe is God is coming to take us away. And everything black is devilish, demonic and without a soul. And this is what I'm trying to get you and other people like you to see. But the crazy thing is, man, y'all ain't willing to give up Peter, Paul, or the New Testament. Peace.